Jewish theologians such as Tovia Singer make the claim that because the Old Testament and the New Testament do not always perfectly replicate each other shows corruption, and is an attempt to prove Christianity dishonest. One of their proof texts comes from Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 6, in contrast to Psalm 40 verse 6, which we will read. Psalm 40 verse 6 Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire, mine ears hast thou opened, burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 6 Wherefore when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Yes, Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 6 is not an exact replication of the Psalms passage, but the point remains the same in both chapters. Psalm 40 is very much about sacrifices done with a pure and willing heart, not the heart of pride and belligerence, which the verse is openly stating, so as the Psalm. There are many cases within the Old Testament where God shows that sacrifices are not what the Lord takes pleasure in, yet had required it under the Mosaic Law. In Jeremiah 5 verse 26 to 31, the Lord says that he will come for such a purpose as to rebuke those who make offerings in disregard to the Lord's heart. The passage reads, Jeremiah 5 verse 26 to 31, For among my people are found wicked men, they lay wait, as he that setteth snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great, and waxen rich. They are waxen fat, they shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper and the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will ye do? in the end thereof. The question becomes, did the Lord not visit? Obviously this is a passage about disregard for the Lord in their own vanity and wickedness being done at the cost of false offerings. The temple was destroyed shortly after Christ came, as predicted in Daniel 9, which is a timetable of Israel's redemption. Neither are there any sacrifices made in a Jewish temple today. Makes a person wonder.